Welcome back to another RH Farm Rescue video. This one's going to be a little bit of a week in the life stuff we got up to this past week. Let's get into it. I'm here with Mr. Bentley. We are going to be doing a little test saddle ride. The vet at the last chiropractor appointment he had seemed to think that it was more saddle fit instead of him uh, just being uncomfortable. Um, we've had a couple instances where the cold weather just seems to make him kind of flare up a little bit. He just gets kind of antsy under saddle and um, doesn't really want to move. Um, so it's like, it's just above 50 today and that seems to be, you know, that, that point at which we start noticing a difference. So I am going to hop on him. I did a bunch of, uh, fit tests with the saddles that we have. We have to change out the one that we were using, um, because he's actually gained some weight, which is good, but that does change the saddle fit. And, and that's on us. We should have been checking a little bit more frequently to make sure that everything fit. So I'm gonna hop on and test this one out. Um, we try to have at least one English saddle and one Western saddle that our horses can ride in due to the variety of students that we have in our lesson program. Hey buddy. Anywho, all right, so I'm gonna hop on and we'll see what he's feeling like. I was worried a little bit about PSSM or maybe kissing spines, um, but it did seem to come on all of a sudden. So we're gonna try that. I've had him on S, uh, MSM supplement and he's been on an iron supplement since the summer because he's always attacked by the flies. So we're gonna see what we can get up to. For this ride, I'm gonna be doing just a lot of walking and letting him stretch out his legs in the sunshine and get that muscles warmed up. I'm just adjusting my stirrups now. I'm gonna hop back on and I'm gonna ask him to do a little bit of trotting. Bentley has normally been one of our really solid horses. He'll go into trot easily, canter, he'll keep it without too much extra leg work. Um, but he's just been so stiff lately, um, so I'm just going to ask him to trot a couple times and let him decide how long he wants to trot for. And you'll see, especially around the corners, I notice we pick up the trot and then coming around the corner, he just wants to stretch his neck out and then decides he wants to slow back down to the walk. And that's okay. This is, again, our first ride back in a saddle that fits him a little bit better. That tail swishing there is a little concerning to me. But um, again, it's just our first ride back, so we're just doing a little short walk trot, and then we're gonna let him rest and pick up again in a few days. And of course, you might have already seen the video. We had a surprise emergency farrier need for Griffey there. And I'm just going to be setting up a little bit of a temporary fence to keep him out of the worst mud. I'm just talking to one of my lesson students there. She decided she wanted to help me film.
One time my backyard turned into a pool. Yeah. Literally wherever you step, you can step in anything. So. While, like, connecting it to the electricity. Oh, no, I was just, I would have to, you know, and then it would be harder to, oh. you know, get in and out. Mostly horse poop. And you're gonna turn it back on. So how do you turn that back on? Now it's on. Thank you for your help. Yeah, I guess it slid back. Yeah. If you haven't already seen it, the full video of Griffey getting his shoe redone is on our channel. State Line Tech was having a little overstock sale, so I decided to grab a couple supplies that we need for the lesson program and the horses. I'm just going to go through the little tack haul we've got here. We've got a couple new helmets. I got a medium white one. They were on sale for half off, which is a pretty good deal if you know how much helmets can cost. Helmet number two. We've got a black one in extra small for our little kids. We've got our uh, replacement blanket for some of the ones that have been destroyed this winter. We've got lots of ivermectin for spring deworming. Got another bridal tack hook situation. I have a bunch of these all around the farm. They're super handy, but again, this one was half off. It was like only $6 where they're normally like 12 or more. Got some boots for myself, some brown, just some brown paddock boots. I have them in black as well, but I go through them pretty quick. So I thought having an extra pair would help. Uh, another pair of the hands-on grooming gloves. I have one already, but they're so good. I really recommend them if you're looking for something to groom the mud off your horse in this time of year. Got a uh, oversized halter. This was on sale, I think, just because it's hard to find horses that these fit. It was about $3, so this is going to go on Mr. Zeus. I also got another set of cross ties. Now we've just got two saddle pads, a white one, and a green one. They're going to come in handy. We've got Mr. Chevy here on the lunge line working on some poles. We're not really sure what he's going to be best suited for, trails, obstacles. He does a little bit of jumping. He's currently up for adoption, but only to a trainer or an approved adopter working with a trainer. We're trying to get him more solid and confident. That's always been his issue. So we're trying lots of different things to help him be a more confident and trusting horse. Good boy. And Miss Sefer is also doing really well. She's got lots more energy and <laughs> she's a little excited here today. Um, but we're still working on her motivation under saddle. She's been doing really well. Uh, we're doing yeah. it in increments, just asking for little, little bits of trot here and there and then giving lots of reward and praise. And she's being a really solid companion. That's it for this video. Thank you everybody for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.